well, coming back to the presentations I made also and how things are being done in Denmark, my country, but also in Norway and Sweden, it's extremely important that you take a strategic stance on the, the situation of how we do with these big urban areas that we have now. We need to have smart cities. It's not just the buzzwords. It's simply because when you have like 20 or 24 million people living in the same place, you can't go on with business as usual and then just hope that things will work out because we see that they don't. The city is congested. The city gets polluted. Uh, people waste their time. People get sick. And you get an overall frustration in a society that does not work. So it's not a nice to thing to talk about smart cities. It's a need to. And you have to start uh, somewhere. And there are many ways of doing it. One thing is to take the overall perspective, make sure that you have the politicians and uh, the bureaucrats with them to make the decisions, but also that it comes bottom up, that people understand the necessity that private companies go in that direction and that they make smart decisions whenever they do what. Because uh, if it's all piecemeal and if you take the cheapest solution every time you go for something, then you end up with not having the smart city because that was going on like you did before. So you really need in your heart and your decisions, you need to make those changes. They felt that a lot of people, one of the resistances is that they, they felt that it's quite expensive. Uh, is that really so, uh, Your Excellency? When you look at it from the beginning, it looks very expensive. But all smart cities will know that in the long run, when you have made those decisions and the initial investment that we cannot do away with, then in the long run, it's cheaper. Today, for example, in Denmark, we have invested so much in green energy, mainly from wind, that energy prices are going down. The energy we can produce from wind is cheaper than the black energy from oil. So that has been a transition of having more expensive energy that was green, but now that green energy is cheaper. And that is the way we have to look at it. Yeah, any message to the Filipino people, Your Excellency? I think the message is that what one of the panelists said, it is come together. And I would like to add, get started if you didn't already get started. Uh, so I think that is the message.